Jimmy Tibbs is the best of the lot. No doubt he's been on such a long time. He's in the opposite Round corner of me when I watched Bill Scott. Um, I remember having a chat with him after. He's a very nice man, very intelligent man, and he knows his boxing. Into the fourth round now. He's also two very intelligent man, Nathan Cleverley, the maths graduate from Cardiff University against Tony Bellew, who says that away from the ring he likes relaxing, watching a film, reading a book, and he's not really the braggart and the super self-confident man that some people would suspect he is in the ring. Yeah, but boxing, boxing is an entertainment business, and these, these boys sell themselves to the public, and uh, with, with the way that this press conference has been, they've sold this fight. You know, they've had to do much advertising for this fight. They've, they've sold it just with these two boys alone. And so far, they haven't let anyone down. Cleverly just being told by the referee to keep his punches up. Interesting inside, though, again, the hand speed of Bellew is easily the match of that of Cleverly. Yeah, I think everyone thought that was going to be Nathan's big advantage, was going to be that speed, but... Um, Bellew's nullifying that speed at the moment by using the jab. He's jabbed really well. Yeah, he's straight pistol like jab out and in and what he's doing he's showing a double jab which Nathan's blocking the first one but the second one's coming through good work again from Bellew buzz of appreciation from a knowledgeable crowd cleverly under pressure again covering up well that's real classical work from Bellew that shows the amateur pedigree, beautiful boxing skills. And I think a lot of people thought that he'd be out jabbing Nathan Cleverly, but at the moment, for me, that's what's happening. Yeah, he's, he's boxing well behind that jab. Uh, Nathan's having trouble getting in. He, he's, like you said, he's keeping him, keep him occupied with that jab. Even, even when it's not landing, it's just occupying, it's blinding Nathan. You know, he's, every time Nathan sets himself, he feels a jab in his face. You know, he got set himself again. You've been in the ring with Nathan Cleverly on many an occasion. How heavy-handed is he? Um, it's definitely sparring. He's got 20 ounce gloves on. He's, he's very fast. He's got good work rate. Uh, you know, he's, he's only a youngster when I sparred him. Uh, but you know, he always had a, he always had the talent then. Body shots from Bellew, but Cleverly intelligent in the way in which he was slipping those shots and minimising the target. Cleverly trying to apply the pressure, but not landing too many, what I would describe as hurtful shots. Looks like a smear of blood coming from the nose of Bellew, though. Yeah, he did. Bellew just controlling things with that jab at the morning. Nathan, Nathan's coming in, he's walking him down. But when he's actually down there, he's not, he's not doing a whole lot. So how do you score that round? I, I give that one to Bellew again. His, his jab is working wonderfully. Nathan's having a hard time getting in and Nathan got a lovely jab of his own maybe maybe surprised by how good uh, Tony Bellew's jab is Bellew can maintain this and if the judges see it the same way we do there's going to be a fair amount of I told you so at the end of it yes yeah, so a lot of a lot of people picked uh, Tony Bellew for this fight but you know, like I said people, <laughs> people thought I was uh, pulling a fast one by saying it was a 50-50 fight but this generally was a 50-50 fight with two young boys uh, no defeats in Iraq, we both want the same item, that world championship uh, belt. One wants to keep it, one wants to take it. And it was a 50-50 fight. They, have, they both box the same type of class. Well, they don't seem overly concerned in the cleverly corner. No, you know, maybe, maybe they've got a plan, they're going to come something strong later on, in the, later on in the fight. But so far, Bailey's jab has impressed everyone. So the bright boy from Kevin Forrest against Tony Bellew, who says, as a teenager, he used to have street fights, he used to nick cars. Now he's in here fighting for the world title that Cleverly is proudly defending, and Cleverly seems to have upped his work rate a little in this round. Yeah, he's set the pressure straight away from, straight from the beginning of the round. a bit subdued momentarily test of strength and stamina as they lean on 
Bellew, who started this fight really quickly, is he going to be able to maintain that work rate? You know, I'm sure he trained harder for this fight than he ever have in his life. You know, a nice little body shot come in there then. Both of them landing low. Shake yeah. of the head from Bellew was as much as to say you knew exactly what you were doing. Yeah. And then he responded with one of his own, and Richie Davis just uh, allowed them to get on with it. Bit of, bit of tip for tat, that was. Shoulder going in. And again. It's a hard fight. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's an energy sapping fight. They're fighting in close quarters. They're working hard. Nathan's trying to get that body shot. Bad who's just outworking him at the moment. Oh, that's a, that was clearly low. Another left hand for the second time in the fight. I don't think that was an intentional. Johnny's been looking for that body shot. He just brought it up the wrong way. He's giving him time to recover. And now cleverly gets an old-fashioned telling, telling off of his own. Nice little right hand off Nathan then. Sometimes those low shots can have a pivotal effect. Remember Costa Zoo and Ricky Hatton? Ricky fired in a low yes, one around right. about the seventh round. Yeah, that's right. And after that, the, it was Ricky's fight. Top all the steam out of Costa Zoo. This is a hard, hard round. It's, a, it's an energy sapping fight. They, they, they both stand in tour to tour. They, they want to they wanna show who the toughest man is, not a battle boxer. They want to show who the strongest, toughest man is. Crowd responding to Bellew, roaring their man on. But for me, up to that last little flurry, cleverly was getting the better of it. What a good round. Close round, difficult one to score. Maybe could go either way. I, I would personally lean slightly to this fella. I'd give it an eighth in that round. I'd uh, work value a little bit. i put the pressure on him a bit more than he had done in the last couple of rounds. That left hand was low. Ouch. Yeah, he definitely felt the force of that one. Like you said, that can have a telling on the fight. Yeah, every fella watching, wherever you may be across the country, wincing with Tony Bellew, and there's a good right hand which went in from Cleverly. There it is from another angle, same yeah. shot. Just slipped the jab from the right hand over the top, that's the, the same punch you've been trying from the first round. Better round for Nathan Cleverly, and he'll take heart from that. Round six. Into the sixth, still a fascinating fight, the WBO light heavyweight title on the line. There, another left hand goes low. This time, cleverly gets away with it. Still convinced they're accidental? <laughs> I'll have to watch the replay, but he is targeting the body a lot. He is a body punch, he likes to punch the body. And sometimes they do stray, you know, I'll have to watch the replay just to see how low it was. But, you know, this fight has been played out of close quarters. There's another one. That, that was a low blow. And on the blind side of the referee. We can see it. Richie Davis probably couldn't. Well, this fight has been fought at close quarters. Nice little uppercut there by Nathan Cleverly. He's trying to soften belly you up around the body, no doubt about it. Yeah, well, he's, he's tiring our body all the time. But by doing that in close, he's always leaving himself open for the counter of belly. And a good left uppercut as well from Bellew, from Cleverly rather. Decent round for the champion so far. Yeah, he's come back strong this round. Now Bellew put a right hand in low, that was definitely premeditated and that was tit for tat. And again the referee allows the action to continue.
with a turn from cleverly. Value takes it well. He's on the back of a couple of body shots, which just made Value drop his guard. Yeah, you see, you see Nathan's plan from the start. He worked on that part. He worked that body. He wants to slow Value down. That was a nice body shot from Value then. This is a real hard man's fight. I think we should have just put a, a big phone box in the centre of the ring and let him fight in that. No, that's what they want to do. They, they want to show who the toughest man is. The boxing's gone out the window at the moment. I suspect these two are never going to be on each other's Christmas card list. No, I say it's definitely a grudge match, uh, the rivalry there. You know, sometimes that's what boxing needs. You know, it gets, gets, uh, gets the fans wanting to watch fights. The whole boxing business, not only Liverpool, was really looking forward to this fight, and it's living up to the billing as cleverly now starts to try to unload and mount a more fevered attack. Yeah, he's up, he's up the game, that round, he's pushed the pressure.